welcome back. Don't forget, if you're subscribed, click that little bell. Otherwise, you won't get notifications. It's a very important bell. All right, so here we go. So these little pieces of cardboard are trash that I got from a new TV from Christmas. So I was unpackaging this TV, and I saw these three hard-pressed pieces of cardboard. And I thought, wow, these would make a really, really great art piece. It's a free substrate. Why not? So I started with some gesso, and this is a catalyst blade. And uh, I'm just scraping the gesso on haphazardly. I really did not know where I was going. I have been watching a ton of DDK Trends videos. If you're not subscribed to her on YouTube, YouTube, go check her out. She's she's really great. She gives me a lot of inspiration. So I was re-watching and watching and re-watching and watching and re-watching all of her videos. So I got a lot of inspiration on this one from Didi. So thank you, Didi. So uh, I'm just using gesso that is, I think, Liquitex Basics. It's not my favorite gesso. Uh, Golden is my favorite gesso, but, you know, it works. So. And I was also off this week, which is why my nails are painted. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but they're all black except for my ring finger, which is has like a teal shimmer glitter. Yep, you can see it right there. So, uh, yeah. So I'm starting with that gesso. And again, I really had no clue what I was doing with this. So I just started playing and just wanted to put down some paint. This was when I was starting to get back into my studio and kind of get back into that that painty vibe so i thought well let's not put too much pressure on myself let's just play and have fun because after all i'm working on garbage so if it doesn't work out i can throw it away so i'm using my finger to as as you saw i used a baby wipe to pull out a little bit of the uh, gesso in the center just to create almost like a, a vignette effect and then i use my finger to put some gesso along the sides and now I am using a sanding block by Tim Holtz. And I'm just sanding away some of that gesso. And as you saw, some of the paper tore. And I thought, okay, well, it was meant to be. I have to go grungy now. Oh, darn. You know, I, I love my grunge. Sorry, I'm sitting up and my dog is sitting on me. And uh, so, yeah, so I, I thought, wow, that's really cool, actually. So then I went and sprayed the gesso down with a little bit of water just to kind of stress that that paper that uh bare paper that was still there because i didn't know what i was doing still so then i took this was i think clear gesso or matte medium i think it's clear gesso that i put over the top just because i did want to seal in that paper i didn't want to you know stress it to the point where it'd start warping or bubbling some uh the title of this project if you couldn't tell by the title of the video is this is me and I will get into that in just a second as to why it is that I chose that particular phrase. So this is a little bit of like Titan buff or some, some kind of like tan off-white color. And I just wanted to add a little bit more color into this. So something kind of in the middle between the white of the gesso and the, the tan of the cardboard. So these panels are actually like, they're, they're paper, but they're pressed really, really hard. So they're almost like wood blocks. Uh, so if you clink them together, they sound like two pieces of wood being hit together. But uh, they were used as spacers in the in the TV packaging. So I thought these would be super, super sturdy for, for a project. And I was right. I'm actually really, really happy with how they came out. I'm going to put them on my desk at work so I can uh, remember them all the time. So I've gotten a few of these Distress Oxides, and I really like them, like a lot. And this is a back massager that I got from the dollar store. And I thought, ooh, this would make some really cool little marks. So I used my Distress Oxide with this back massager and just added some random dots. You really don't end up seeing them in the end. But again, sometimes it's not, that's not the point. The point is just playing and having fun and, and just kind of getting messy and figuring out what works and what doesn't work and what you like and what you don't like. So... Uh, like I said, this will end up mostly going away in a minute. So then I go back in with, I think this is more gesso. This has been like two months, three months since I started this project. So it's been a hot minute. 
but I'm pretty sure this is gesso. I think it's just the the gesso that I cleaned up earlier. I uh, I used that rag and just what whatever was left, I just kind of scraped on. I'm just going for a little bit of a grungy, swipey effect. So, and I'm again using that catalyst blade again. So this is me. Okay, so some of you may or may not have seen a little movie called The Greatest Showman. I have seen it more than a couple times. If you follow me on Instagram, you know um, that I saw it multiple times in theaters. P approximately 14? 13? 14? Jen? 13? 14? I don't know. Something like that. Uh, we have movie pass, so we get to go to the movies all the time. Uh, for the first about seven viewings, we did not have movie pass, and then we decided we needed to get movie pass because we were losing so much money going to the movies all the time. So if you don't know what movie pass is, you get to go to the movies once a month, uh, or once every single day, and you pay $10 a month. It's wonderful. I love it. Get it if you can. And uh, so back to the project real quick. Uh, this is Distress Ink. This is the reinker, and I'm pretty sure this is Pumice Stone. And I'm just going in here, dropping a couple dots on, spraying a little water, and then using the brush just to make this grungy. I think a lot of this ends up getting wiped up because it's water-based, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I liked the movie. I'm going back in with this roller now with, I think, the brown, a brown, that same brown Distress Oxide. Uh, love the movie, actually. I sob hysterically almost every single time we watch it. I have seen it now at least 20 times. Um, yeah, I know. I, I obsess. It's what I do. It's my thing. Uh, I do not apologize for it. I don't do it often, but when I find something I like, I, I go crazy. So, yeah. Uh, and uh, so this is the Art Is stencil from the Crafter's Workshop and a little bit of, I think it's that stucco medium. So it's just really gritty gray medium so it's going to create a 3d texture because i'm pushing it through this stencil with the catalyst tool and um it's going to create some some great texture so anyway uh back to the movie so the first time we saw it was it came out actually in theaters on our anniversary which is december 20th but we didn't end up seeing it until christmas eve which is obviously december 24th of last year so we didn't really know what it was about we kind of knew it was a musical but not really i knew uh that Hugh, Hef Hugh Hefner, oh my god, Hugh Jackman was in it. <laughs> Hugh Hefner in a musical. God, can you imagine? Uh, but he's dead, so that's not funny. Um, so so uh, now I'm using archival ink in sepia through an Umwell Studio star stencil just to create a little more texture in the background. Uh, so we knew Hugh Jackman was in it, but not really anything else. So we went and saw it, and I sobbed my way through the movie and instantly became hooked. So if you haven't seen it, go see it. I won't give any spoilers here, but one of the songs is called This Is Me. So the first time we're watching this movie, I'm sitting here watching it, not expecting this song to come up or you know this whole theme in the movie. And it comes up and sobbing uncontrollably. And right now I'm using uh, a brown Stabilo pencil and I'm just going over that stucco just to give those raised edges a little bit more color and definition and I, the brown wasn't uh, harsh enough so I went in with black so there's the difference there's the one on the right is with the one on the left is without so you can see it just gives a little bit more shading so I'm going to do that to the whole thing so uh yeah cried my way through the movie and uh decided I needed to go back a couple days later and took my sister with me and th then took her boyfriend and then took myself and then there was a sing-along version and then there was it it spiraled very quickly and I, I i apologize for nothing so long story short the the title of the song that that i, I love in this movie is called this is me and it's about self-acceptance and not worrying about uh you know what people say or think about you because this is who you are you're you are who you're meant to be and you're worthy so it's a beautiful message, and it fits right on with the whole Born This Way message of, you know, Gaga, so I obviously fell in love. So I decided when I sat down, I knew that this was going to be the theme of this, uh, this particular art project. 
there actually may be more coming with that same theme or possibly even with different lyrics from that song. Uh, and I, I'm not going to apologize because I think that's what's inspiring me right now. So I'm going to be honest or uh, true to myself and and just let it inspire me. So this was some perfect pearls. I don't know the color and I just splattered it on and I held it up to the camera so you could see the shimmer. So um, this is a little bit more of that Titan buff and I'm just using my palette knife just to scrape a little bit here and there, catching some of the texture, not worrying if it gets on the words, using a paper towel to, to peel it back a little bit. This is a really long video. It took me many hours to make this, um, at least three or four hours total. And the reason it took me so long is because I would play, stop, play, stop. So I'd have to get the supplies out, go back in. I still have my nails painted here, so this is all still part of the same first first uh, batch of creating. So then I went in with Distress Ink. I think this is Faded Jeans. You'll probably be able to see the color in the in the final video, uh, but it's a little small. So I'm going through yet another um, Wow Studio stencil, and this is a hexagon stencil. stencil. And uh, it's really pretty. I love hexagons. I actually have an idea for another art journal, uh, not art journaling, because I'm starting to move away from that, but a little bit more mixed media art uh, dealing with hexagons. So stay tuned for that. So, and then I just used a, a wipe to just real lightly wipe down those hexagons. So they kind of faded to the back a little bit. I didn't want anything very strong. I wanted this to be very soft because to me, the message was the strong point on this. So I decided to go very, very soft with the colors and everything. So uh, now I busted into my vintage papers collection and I started pulling out uh, dictionary text and old uh, book paper and music paper. And I liked the music paper, but it wasn't the color I wanted. I wanted some more darker colors in there. And I wanted that kind of spectrum. I wanted some light, a little medium, a little bit slightly darker. So I'm just creating this collage. So what I do with it is I kind of figure out where I want everything. And again, it's going to be organic in the end, so it's not going to be perfect. But I try to place it kind of where I think it looks good. And then flip it over, add just a little tiny bit of washi tape. And it's super thin washi tape. It's really funny. This washi tape is actually from a really cheap batch of washi, washi tape we bought on Amazon. And m most of the tape was cut so imprecisely that they would, <laughs> they would cut the two, the two uh, designs next to each other. So they would print a giant roll of washi tape, one giant roll, and they would cut the washi tape. So that way you would get the two designs. Well, the piece where the, the two designs met on the printer, it created this, super thin maybe a sixteenth of an inch um little tiny roll of washi tape and that's what you're seeing there in the middle of the screen so we've been using that as just like a temporary adhesive and uh it's actually come in really handy so we have a ton of it it's just this little offshoot of washi tape but it's super handy so i taped the back of that cluster and then ran it over to my sewing machine and just did a horizontal or a diagonal stitch and then just let those loose threads. And then I'm using some matte medium to glue everything down. And then the strings of the thread, I am gluing down just little pieces here and there just so it's secure, but uh, not completely glued down. Because I wanted some of that, that texture, some of that dimension. So uh, yeah, so the whole movie. So that, that whole song, like I said, is all about self love and not worrying about what others think about you and that's always been a huge part of me and kind of my message to the world because I don't care what people think about me it does not matter to me uh you know even if it's a friend who who doesn't agree with it does not matter it's my life it's not yours I'm going to be me and I'm going to be honest about it and if you don't like it you may leave and I do have friends or had friends that I've had to say goodbye to because we just did not see eye to eye. And that's fine. I think, you know, people are there for us when we need them to be. But sometimes I think we also need to learn to let go. So anyway, that's a little deep for right now. But look at my nails. They, they're changed now. They're pretty. So I've got teal 
now on all of my nails, and then my ring finger is black with pink on it. And don't look too closely, because I got real lazy. This was the same week, and I didn't want to take all the paint off, so I just painted over the last paint, and ooh, they were rough. But I wasn't going anywhere. I was at home working on projects, and I did go to the dentist, but they know me now, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, so the my ring finger is really cool because it, it's black, but it's got that little sh tinge of pink. Yeah, neat. Anyway, so I've got all this stuff glued down. These little pieces of ruler are actually ribbon. It's ribbon that a friend gave me, and I just had this little tiny bit left, and I decided to throw it down on this piece. I was like, oh, well, you know, it'll add just a little touch of color because there's that little hint of red. But it's not this terribly bright red, because again, I wanted everything soft and muted because the, the message is so strong. So now I'm going back in with a little bit more gesso, and I am just adding some more white back in. Uh, this is, as Didi would call it, the great equalizer gesso, adding that white back in. I am even going over some of those collage pieces, just because I, I thought, you know what, let's push everything just slightly into the background. Um, so now I'm going back in, this is the brown Stabilo pencil, and I'm going right around those edges, just trying to create that vignette again, just kind of darken up those edges, frame everything in a little bit. Uh, I did pay attention to the sides at the start of this project, and then I stopped because I got lazy, so I'll deal with that in a little bit. And I apologize for this video being so long, but, um, you know... I worked a lot on this, so I wasn't going to cut everything out. I try to only show you me working on one for the most part, um, So then, but then you know I did it to the other two as well. So this is, I think, Carbon Black or Bone Black. I think it's Bone Black by Golden, and I am going in with a fan brush and a ton of water and just doing some very light spatters. I just wanted them here and there. Again, very soft. I'm trying not to be the typical heavy-handed Aaron. So I didn't have anything that said this is me. I was looking for some Tim Holtz chit-chat stickers, and I didn't have anything. Like, I couldn't piece anything together. So I went to my trusty little tiny stamps and decided to stamp them out. And then I tore them out, and I thought, you know, I kind of like this really rough, jagged edge because, you know, it kind of symbolizes how... None of us are perfect. We're all unfinished. So I liked that. And I'm going to use some foam tape to glue them down. So if any of you guys like the movie, let me know. Um, I will tell you that I was not happy when the Oscar went to Coco for Remember Me. Uh, Coco was a wonderful movie. I cried a lot at that one as well. I cry, by the way. I cried everything, like everything, but I cried particularly strong at The Greatest Showman and Coco. So um, I really, really liked Coco, but I'm sorry. I just did not think the song was better. It just wasn't. No, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry that I didn't think the song was better. The song wasn't better, and that's all she wrote. It didn't deserve to win, Coco, but it was still a great movie. So I found these little frames, these little metal frames, and I was like, oh, these are great. These are perfect. But then the middle one and the left one, they weren't the same color gold that I was looking for. I wanted something a little shinier, not so dingy. So I used some rub and buff with my finger and just uh, hit a couple spots here and there. Don't use your finger when using rub and buff. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, it's oil-based and it's very, very bad for you. So if I get cancer one day, this piece will be worth a lot more money. Yep, because dead. So, but hopefully not. <laughs> so use gloves or, you know, just use a little piece of paper towel and apply it with that. Uh, so since I already had the, the cancer on my fingers, I mean, the rub and buff on my fingers, uh, I figured I might as well keep going. Speaking of cancer, fun fact, while I was away... I was, uh, I, they found skin cancer on me. So I had to have a giant chunk of that cut out of my forehead. So now if you see a picture of me or a video of me, which you may be seeing a video of me talking sometime in the near future, uh, you will see a giant scar, vertical scar above my right eyebrow. So yeah, that's what that is. I, 
I like to tell people I was in a bar fight, but no one believes me for whatever reason. So I am using a little piece of paper towel and I am now that that rub and buff is dry. I'm going over uh, everywhere that I added the rub and buff and it's just making it shine. That's the beauty of rub and buff. So uh, my nails are no longer painted. This was actually done today. I finally wrapped this up today and um, I decided I needed to cover those edges and then find a way to connect these three pieces. Initially, they were going to be hung vertically and then I thought, no, I want them to stand up because I want to take them to work. So I used a little burnt sienna and it was a little too red once I added it to this string. And then I tried some Tim Holtz distress paint in walnut stain and it looked green. So I was like, nope, that's not happening. And then added a little bit of a dark brown color. I think it's burnt umber. Um, it's all gone now. It was very old. So I used it all up on this project. So I wadded it all up, sprayed it, got it nice and wet, got it stained, and then uh, dried it with my heat gun. And now I'm just wrapping the edges of these little tiny uh, boards. So I'm using my glue gun. And it, if you can see under my left hand, there's a little puddle of like amber stuff, like brown stuff. And that was old glue that had been lodged in my glue gun. I had to really work to get it all out. So that was fun. But my glue gun is working again, so yay. So I wrapped each side five times, and I went, sometimes I would cross, sometimes I would not cross, so it's not perfect, and I did that intentionally. Again, embracing those imperfections. So this is a little piece of ribbon, and it's like a, it's kind of like a burlap, uh, but it's raw. So I used my Tim Holtz stapler and then just stapled along the edges and then used Fabri-Tac to glue it down. And I attached all three pieces using two of those pieces of burlap. These are the little picture frame stands by Tim Holtz. It's a die. And I die cut it with uh, some chipboard. But it always cuts through. Whenever I bend the chipboard, it always cuts through. So I used a little bit of tissue tape just to reinforce those hinges so they don't fall apart. And uh, that tissue tape, it just is so not sticky. I love that stuff, but man, it it really needs a little bit more stick. But I love the designs. So I did this to three of these stands, because obviously I have three pieces. And then I used some Fabri-Tac to glue the stands to the back. So now the nice thing is all three of these will stand up individually, but they're connected together. So I can put them on my desk and not worry about them toppling over. I love Fabri-Tac. If I haven't told you guys, Fabri-Tac is one of my favorite glues. E6000, Fabri-Tac. That's about it. I don't trust anything else. So I'm going to glue all three of these on. And now you can kind of see the back where these are like just pressed paper. You can kind of see the seams. And I thought, well, perfect. The uh, stand will go right in that seam. It'll kind of cover that up. But then, given the way that my desk is, people will be able to see the back of these. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fix that. So now you can kind of see how those burlap turn into kind of hinges. And because I made them so far apart, you can slide these closer together if you want. But you can also fold them in on each other, so they're easier to to carry. And these. Uh, stands also fold down because I added the tissue tape to make them reusable so you can fold because otherwise one fold and they're they, the chipboard breaks so I love that die but you have to be real careful using it so here's the last of this brown paint and this brown paint it is so clumpy it's really bad so I was like let's just throw some brown paint on it so I did. So let me know down in the comments if uh, if you guys have seen Greatest Showman or Coco, or if you've seen both, and uh, what you thought of those. They were they're great. So Jen bought me the Greatest Showman for Valentine's Day. She pre-ordered it for me because it was still in theaters and I was still going to watch it because I'm a freak. And um, she pre-ordered it on Amazon for me. Included a picture of the uh, you know DVD case in my card saying it's not here yet, but it will be. So then they announced the digital download date would be March 20th. 
and the release date for the DVD would be April 10th. So because she pre-ordered it, we were going to get punished because our digital download copy wouldn't come until the disc came. So I would have had to wait 20 days, and that was not happening. So I called my mom and was like, Mom, my birthday's coming. Do you want to you wanna buy me The Greatest Showman? She's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, I'm serious. I can't wait 20 days. So my mom bought it for me. I'm going to end up giving my sister the other digital <laughs> digital download, though. So waste not, want not, am I right? And I'm glad I did because we watched it as soon as it came out. I downloaded it the night it came out. I'm a freak, I know. So yeah, I'm just using a little teeny tiny brush and going right around the edges. Uh, I just wanted to get all of this nice and covered so it's nice and dark. But I didn't want to use black because I thought that would stand out too much against the, the rest of this. So um, I'm going to cover all three pieces. And that is pretty much it. So one thing, the nice thing about me painting the back of this is that it sealed that tissue tape. It sealed it down because uh, acrylic is basically a glue uh, if you cover stuff up. So that tissue tape's not going anywhere now. So you can't see it anymore. Like you can't see the design of the tissue tape, but it, it helped keep that tissue tape glued down. So that's one of the benefits of, of using some acrylic over it. Typically with uh, tissue tape, I'll use a, some kind of like a matte medium to help keep it down just because they just are so not sticky. So here it is. Here's the final project. And I hope you guys like it. Here's a little, uh, pano photo so you can see the whole thing and uh this is gonna go at my desk so i can remember that this is me so good go watch the movie if you haven't seen it and uh make sure you check out the links at the end all of my links for social media are there i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will talk to you all soon bye